I think our mill right now is probably as high tech as they come. All our grading, everything is automated right now. We use spruce and we will also be running aspen this year. So hardwood and softwood. We are harvesting probably, I would say radius like about 100 kilometers from the sawmill or in our FMA. Half our wood goes to spruce land, like about 40 to 50 percent. Majority stays in Canada and some get shipped to the to US and overseas. In 1990, they basically started off with a little remap. And from there, we went to a lot of auctions and just tore down old mills and, and rebuilt them. And as we were growing, we did more upgrades like our new mill. We'll start off where, where the log comes in and where the lumber comes out, our bucking system. So what we do is we basically get processed logs on, onto the yard. Uh, about 80% 80, 80 of our logs are processed and about 20% of our logs are tree length. So the bucking system we basically just use two months out of the year. We got two debarkers, so it's a 35 inch debarker, that's an older debarker, but it works, it works awesome. And we also have a 22 inch debarker, and that's where most of our volume goes through. So most of our wood would be 22 inches and less. It gets loaded onto the decks and through the debarkers. And from there, either it goes to our, what we call our new mill and our old mill. Quality is our priority and that hasn't changed in the lumber market or in the wood, wood pellet industry. We've automated this mill from uh, being a very manual mill to uh, very sophisticated. I know in 07 when we put up the new mill, we were told we had the most sophisticated mill in Alberta at the time. And it was all computerized and everything is done uh, electronically. Whatever the market bears, whatever market we want to cut for, it will program into the, the system and it'll get the best value for every, every log. Logs come in and we got an awesome program that, that takes pictures of every log and, and, and it decides what we'll cut with our, with our pricing of lumber. So we need a lot of, a lot of two by six. Uh, we, we put that in the program and we'll cut as many two by six as we can. And these machines will cut anything from one by four to six by six. So any special markets, that's what we do, right? So you'll see those machines as it goes through all the scanners, everything gets scanned and we have the board edger. So we call that seconds from the logs. So all those pieces that don't make a good grade lumber, like a pure two by six will make a good two by four. So you'll see that with those going through the board edger. From the board edger and the new mill and everything is into a lumber, it goes to the unscrambler. And from the unscrambler, that's where it gets sorted. So any boards that still don't make the grade, we put it back, back to the board edger. So all boards get utilized. In the planer, um, you saw all the, uh, the dry piled lumber that goes through the kilns. We, we plane that lumber, anything from 2x12, 2x10, 2x6, 2x4, 1x6, 1x4. We do a lot of different grades in the planer. We have a very comprehensive grading and trimming system there where we can do anything from a 12 foot log. We do down to 40 inch trim block for remand purposes. We do a, a wane free grade, a two and better, a number three grade economy and our, our remand grades. So there's, we have a lot of versatility with our, our planer line, which really helps us adapt to what the markets are doing. Well, from the scrambler, it goes to the trimmer and through scanners, so every board Every board gets checked for moisture, for rot, and it decides where to trim it. Everything gets trimmed down into the sorter. In the sorter, every bin is separated for each individual board, like uh, all the 2x6 12s. One grade will go into a certain bin. And from there, once the bins are full, it goes down, and we send it down to the stacker. From there, it gets stacked. The smaller bundles, those get shipped out green. There's a strip every seven layers. And you'll see those bundles that we dry pile we send it to the kiln. There's a strip every every layer. It just helps with with the airflow to dry. And then they get heat treated. 
As far as the pellet mill goes, we have uh, a couple different markets that we use. We try to keep as many pellets as we can within North America, and any access that we have, we export it. So we have produced as much as 140,000 metric tons in a year. The wood pellets that we produce, I believe we're, uh, we're always on the top 10 in North America. As far as uh, BTUs, ash content, a premium pellet is below 8% moisture. And ours are usually running around from 5.3 to 5.7. Once a pellet has been compressed, it's supposed to be 40 pounds a cubic foot. We're usually at 43 pounds. So we, we, we would try every angle we can to make ours equal with the hardwood or, or superior. And today we're, we're very equal to our hardwood pellet. We have about 130 people. Over the last five years, we've purchased our own fleet. Right now we have about 20 trucks, so that keeps more, more people employed right now. I mean, we have about 25 of about 25 truck drivers right now and, and it's way more convenient for us because we know when our loads are here, if there's waiting time, we can, we can give the guys different jobs. Right? Future looks bright right now.